Zombies encountered en route. If you see this, the next thoughts that probably are running through your mind is, Oh, I am royally fucked. That's if you actually know what happens when you get a zombie encounter. Now, you don't see any zombies running at me right now, which is great. I'm getting lucky. Usually, there are about 10 zombies at every fucking corner uh, along the place. The only objective you have is to get from here to the exit, and then all you're going to do is continue on to your mission. This can really fuck up your day, especially if you don't have any ammo, because you have to complete this, and oh fuck, a jogger zombie say chasing me. I hate jogger zombies. Uh... I'm gonna run inside and run upstairs like this is a bad horror movie and hide okay back to what I was saying uh, this can totally fuck up your day because you use up all your ammo trying to get through this and then you have to go and continue on to the mission and it'd be a humongous waste of time if you didn't do it because you could actually lose an entire day uh, just giving up what I did there where it said finesse was uh, it taking a skill roll to get me over the fence otherwise I would have tripped and it would have done some ridiculous ragdoll I'm not paying attention to my stamina bargain and I don't have enough stamina to jump over I was trying to make a daring escape on top of this ambulance and instead now I have to fucking fight my way out of this I'm about to become zombie chow unless they all miss, which is about a one in a million type of thing. Uh, I know I say usually a lot, but usually they would have stomped on my face a few times and I would have run out of ammo. So there ain't much mechanics to this and it's not very interesting to watch. I mean, if nothing's happening right there, I didn't have a whole lot going. Why am I going back into another ammo store? Well, as you can see, I said it again, God damn it! There are only eight bullets left in my shotgun. I need more than this, so I'm really just trying to get through here and find myself some more bullets. The only places you should check to see is something where there's an object on top of it, like spent spent cartridges. Uh, generally, you're not going to find anything just in the empty uh, cabinets. But now. I've defeated the purpose of what I was doing. I ran in here to find ammo, and zombies followed me in here, and now I'm having to waste even more ammo, and I got football zombie chasing me now. It, it's totally counterintuitive and very frustrating, and now I have four left. So let's speed up to get out of here. I'm going to slow it down because I'm really proud of this shot right here. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Ah, fuck, he's still alive. Let's get out of here. Alright, let's speed it back up. So, we're continuing on. No one there. Uh, the next time I stop is going sh to be to show you another mistake that you can commonly make in this game. And that's coming up right here. That's running into buildings without actually knowing what's in there. Just randomly running in there. Most times, they'll be empty. But this time, no, no, it's his buddy, football zombie, again. And I've just attracted more, and the jogger zombie from my nightmares has come back. This time, we ain't gonna be so lucky, though, because I have a shotgun. Alright, better off, let's get out of here. Alright. We're back here. We've made it. We're getting extracted. That's all there is to it. We're done with this zomb with this zombie interception, and we're moving on. I have two bullets to go on in my next missions. Things could have gone better. Don't save scum. Just carry on with it. You'll be okay. All right. Rock on. <laughs>